So to support you today, I'm going to share with you a short video clip from my signature three-day event, Dream Builder Live. You know, during that event, people come from all over the world, hundreds of people, uh, to learn how to face their challenging circumstances, release feelings of fear and doubt and worry, and have real skill sets in how to apply the invisible spiritual laws that govern all our results and use the application of those in service of creating results in a life they absolutely love living. I hope you enjoy this clip. Notice your body. Notice that you've been being breathed all day and you're being breathed right now. That your heart is beating and you're not the one consciously beating it. It's a power moving into and through you. Notice your body. Now notice your thoughts, what you've been thinking. You may have been thinking, this is boring, how long will it go on? You may be thinking, I hope I get what I came for. You may have been thinking about tomorrow and yesterday and what to do on the break. There's a zillion different thoughts going on in here. But notice what yours have been. And notice the general tone of those thoughts. Just notice what you've been thinking. Don't judge it. Just notice it. Notice your thoughts. And now for a moment, notice what you've been feeling. If you've been feeling interested or bored, hopeful or discouraged, anticipatory or questioning, doesn't matter what you've been feeling. Don't judge it, just notice it. Notice what you've been feeling. Now ask yourself this question. Who is it in me that can notice my body but is more than my body? Who is it in me that if I were to lose a hand, I would not say I lost me? I would say I lost my hand, a piece of my equipment. Who is that? Who is it in me that can notice my thoughts but can choose to say yes to a thought or no to a thought? Make a thought really big and important or dial it down to I'll think about you later. Who is that? Who is it in me that can notice my emotions and take an emotion and make it into a great big drama or turn it down and say, this is all gonna work out. Who is it in me that can choose and focus and notice? Who is that? That is your authentic self. The you you were before you took this body and the you you are when you lay this body down. You are spirit having a human experience. You are more than your human nature. You have a human nature, and so do I. Part of that nature is physical. I operate spirit through that physical nature, through a brain, through a nervous system, and through this wonderful thing called my body. My brain is binary. I have a right hemisphere and a left hemisphere. The thought I think, whether I'm aware of it or not, but the thought I think has a vibration to it. It sets up a whole neuronal chemistry downflow, a whole flow of a shower of biochemistry activated by the vibration of that thought. Right hemisphere, left hemisphere, corpus callosum, communicatory of that vibration, fluid surrounding the brain and up and down the spinal cord, takes that vibration, that electrical pulse, sends it right through the nervous system. But it doesn't stop with the bones and the organs and the tissue, and the circulatory system organs in my body, it goes right through the skin. Because I am a sea, I'm in a sea of energy, an intelligent, responsive energy. And it responds to me at the level of vibration in which I am being. Your doorway to the life you would love living is how we work with the gifts of spirit that we have all been given. Most of us have been learned, learned to live life reactively. And there's another way to live this life. So the, the most natural thing to you, it is the most natural thing to every one of us to live a life we love living, that that becomes our normal. It's the most natural thing because it's in our nature to do that. But it's not the most normal thing. The most normal thing is a life of somewhat struggle, pushing against circumstances, trying to solve thing at the, things at the level of fact and try to move the pieces on the chessboard. So in dream building, you will learn that you are far more than you have ever known. Far more. And you contain so much more than you've ever thought. We all do.
So take a deep breath. Just for a moment, take that right hand, just put it on your left side and the left side, and just keep yourself and say, good to be me. <laughs> good to be me. <laughs> More than I've known, good to be me. I hope this clip served you today. And if you know anyone that is going through tough times or anyone who could benefit from this, share the video with them. So, and you can leave any question you want uh, in the comment section below. So I love hearing from you. Uh, did you enjoy this? What helped you? What would you like more of? How you doing right now? What else can I help you with? I feel a big, big hug from Mary Morrissey.